what you doing today? Today is a Wednesday, y'all. It has been so pretty here today. It's a little cool, but it's pretty. So welcome to Up the Hill. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, if you've not subscribed, listen. If you've not subscribed to my channel, if you would just press the red subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it if you like what you're going to see. Um, we're going to make a meatloaf today. Whew, y'all. Y'all know I am always out of breath. I'm a little old fat girl that loves to eat, but, and I can't hardly walk from here to the sink without being out of breath, but that's okay. So, what we're going to start off with is some ground beef. And if you would rather do like ground turkey or ground chicken or even sausage, that's up to you. But I'm using ground beef, and I always say make your recipes your own. Um, you don't have to put negative comments about how uh, other people does things. This is how we like it, so I encourage you to make it how you like it. Um, ooh, just a little hamburger meat there. <laughs> so I encourage you to make it how you like it. So I'm going to use my Pioneer Woman knife. I love my Pioneer Woman. So welcome, welcome to my show. If you've never seen it before, I hope you will um, stick around and watch my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be greatly appreciated. I am no professional. I just cook um, how we like it. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to how I do anything, but um, I'm from southeastern Kentucky, and we just like good old-fashioned country cooking. Country cooking's the best, y'all. Country cooking is the best because you know what? We put our foot in it, y'all. We put our foot, our heart, our soul, everything into our cooking because we like to eat. <laughs> we like to eat, y'all. We love our food. So I've got a whole onion here. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm not a professional. Just dice it however you want to put it in your meatloaf if you even want it. You don't have to have it, but we like it. So... I'm going to put some onion in there. Like I said, I'm not a professional. Don't claim to be, but I get the job done. <laughs> the onion is cut. Well, half of it. Half of it is. Let's do the other half. And like I said, do it the way you want. This is your recipe. I'm just showing you how we like it. Again, I just chop, chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop, however it ends up. As long as it's small, tasty pieces. Just get it in there, however you want it. So we've got our hamburger meat in, our onions are in. Our onions are in. Almost. <laughs> Hold on, I got a few more, y'all. A few more. All right, now. Now, here comes the good old messy part. Let me find my. Oh, Lord, where is my. Y'all, I'm going to cook it in a cast iron skillet. I am making my meatloaf in a cast iron skillet. Y'all know how I love my cast iron. I use it for everything. I mean everything. And it was a little bit too big in there. All right, so we've got our hamburger meat, our onion. So now let's throw in some minced garlic after I get it open. After we get it open. So this is minced garlic. And I'm going to put, we love garlic, y'all. So I'm going to put probably, there's like one tablespoon, two tablespoons. 
And then let's throw a little bit of the juice in there. <laughs> you cannot go wrong with garlic, so whatever. All right, so there's that. And now, y'all know how I love my Dales. Y'all, this is the best marinade ever. Ever. You find it in the condiments aisle. It's usually on the top shelf at my grocery store where you find like the A1 and the, you know, the ketchup, mustard, all that. So it's called Dale's Seasoning. It is fabulous. It's fabulous in any meat, but um, especially beef. If you, listen, if it's your first time trying Dale's, the way that I would suggest that you try it first is to marinate your ribeye steak with it and then throw it on the grill. That is the best steak you will ever eat. I am not even lying. Not even lying. My husband makes the best steak on the grill ever. Much better than any restaurant. <laughs> so as you can see, I've put quite a bit in there. This is kind of salty, so you don't need a whole bunch, but I did use quite a bit. Um, Cause this is gonna be a big meatloaf. Now I'm gonna use some crackers as my binding agent. You know what? I hope I bought a meatloaf seasoning. I did. I did, girls. I did. I did, I did, I did. Let's go ahead and get our stuff out of here, too. I did. <laughs> Woo! So, before the crackers, let's go ahead and put our meatloaf uh, mixture in there. Whatever kind of meatloaf mix that you like. You do need the seasoning mix, um, just to make it taste a little better. I don't guess you have to have it, but it does make it taste better. To me, that's just my personal opinion. So now, I'm gonna put some, just some regular saltine crackers in there. Like probably, I don't know, half a sleeve, I guess. And if you want to, I mean, you can use breadcrumbs, you can use rice, you can use oats, whatever you want. But I am using saltine crackers and an egg. No, I'm not. We don't have any eggs. My bad. <laughs> no eggs. But if you have eggs, you can use eggs as a binding agent as well. So I'm going to use about half the sleeve of crackers. Now, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon laid out on my pan because I'm gonna wrap this meatloaf in bacon. How bad is that? How bad could that be? I'm gonna wrap my meatloaf in bacon. So I'm gonna cut the bacon in half. And you don't have to, that's just the way that I'm doing it. I'm gonna put some on the bottom of my pan. Again, I'm using cast iron. So I'm gonna like lay it over um, the lip of my pan. Just lay it over the lip of my pan. That way I can fold it over onto the meatloaf when I get it in here. And it's it may be easier if you just leave it whole, that's up to you, but my pan is not really big enough to use a whole piece of bacon. Well, I guess you could, it don't matter. Do it however you want, this is how I'm doing it, okay? <laughs> this is how I'm doing it, get over it, shut up. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching Up the Hill. Um, again, today we are doing a good old meatloaf. Good old meatloaf right here. All right, so I've got my bacon laid over. Like that. I think I'm gonna put just a few pieces on the very bottom. Maybe I should have just left it whole, but whatever, you know. Don't judge me. Don't judge the way I do things. Sometimes it's trial and error with me, and that's okay. So I'm going to lay these on the bottom, that way we have um, a bacon bottom surface. 
All right, so that's good with the bacon. We're done with the bacon. All right, now, um, let me wash my hands. <laughs> let me wash my hands. I still gotta get messy, but let me wash my hands before I touch my seasoning containers. <laughs> Hear me over here. I know. I know. Yes, yes, yes. I need to do dishes. Whatever. It is what it is. So let's put some garlic salt in. This is garlic, well, garlic powder. My store didn't have garlic salt. With garlic powder, it's not as potent as garlic salt, so you might need a little more if you like it that good. I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper in ours because we like things spicy around here. And a little crushed red pepper. All right, and then a little bit of parsley flakes. And I know those will turn brown as it bakes, but that's okay. And then, guess what I'm gonna use? Ah, I'm gonna use some Coca-Cola, y'all, yes. Coca-Cola in my meatloaf and A1. So we've used Dale's, Coca-Cola, and A1. Oh, y'all could drink this out of the bottle, just like Dale's. Yum. Yum O. Alright, so let's use a little salt and pepper. Not a whole lot. Because like I said, the dill's is salty. And then we've already got the cayenne pepper in there. And I've got my oven on 350. And it's I'm gonna let it bake for probably two hours or so on 350 because we're not quite ready to eat yet <laughs> so uh we're just gonna let it marry in the oven together for about two hours and see how it turns out after that if it needs cooked more then fine if it don't we'll get it out so we're gonna have a meatloaf uh, mashed potatoes uh, either macaroni and cheese or fried green beans, y'all. Have you watched my video on the fried green beans? Oh my gosh. Y'all, seriously, you've got to try the fried green beans. Fried green beans is delicious. I do that with my broccoli too, and all you do is you fry up some bacon. You leave the grease in the pan. Take out your bacon and, you know, make sure it's in little, just little, um, pieces. Then you cook your green beans or broccoli or even Brussels sprouts is good that way too. Um, but you just put them in the oil, the bacon grease that's left over and you fry them. You fry them. I mean, it's not like they have a crust or anything, but they do fry down. And you put that bacon you cooked in there. Oh my gosh. So fried green beans with bacon, broccoli with bacon, or even... Um, What did I say? <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Or even Brussels sprouts with bacon. That is all so good. You can even do it in the oven if you want. But I like to fry mine on the stove top, y'all. So I just wanted to come on and just show y'all how I do my meatloaf. Like I said, it's nothing, nothing major. Um, I do know that I forgot to put ketchup in here. So give me just a second. I'm gonna wash my hands off and put some ketchup in there. for the top but y'all I just saw this and it caught my eye so let's try some barbecue sauce in our meatloaf <laughs> if we can get it open there we go let's just try this I mean if it ain't good we just won't do it again but I believe it'll be good because we love barbecue and everything I put in here we love so I believe it'll be really good and if you have bell pepper or whatever you can put it in that's totally up to you you put whatever you want in your meatloaf. It's yours. Don't let anybody criticize it. It is yours. 
you're making it for your household. Nobody else has got to eat it. So with the haters, with the haters. <laughs> so let's stir this on around. Ooh, y'all, it's smelling good. That barbecue sauce in there. Yes, y'all. Ooh, mercy. Goodness, grief. So that's my meatloaf. So I've got ground beef, onions, garlic, dills, crackers, egg if you have it, Coca-Cola, yes, A1, tomato, I mean, uh, excuse me, ketchup, and barbecue sauce. We've got bacon over here waiting on it. Um, it's going to be wrapped up in bacon. And then I've got garlic powder, because I didn't have garlic salt. You can use garlic salt. Um, garlic powder, cayenne, and crushed red peppers. And I don't know if I said crackers, but of course your crackers. Woo, for your binding agent, or you can use breadcrumbs, or oats, or whatever. I didn't have an egg, so I had to use crackers. All right. So now, let's get this over into our pan. Here we go. And again, I've got my pan lined with bacon. Hold on a minute, y'all. I want you to see. I want you to see better. Hold on. Out of breath, children. <laughs> Hold on just a moment. <laughs> just a minute. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit, if I can. I think it'll zoom. It should zoom. Let's see if we can zoom. <gasps> we can't zoom on video. We'll dab our... Well, let's just bring this over here. So I got... And y'all, I love cast iron. Y'all all know that. I use it for everything. I'm making my meatloaf in cast iron. So... I've got my pan lined with the bacon. So let's just plop this in here. Y'all ready? Plop it in. Make sure you get everything out of the bowl. All right, here we go. Whoop. And just plop it in there. Get everything out of the bowl, all your onions and garlic and all the good stuff. And just plop it right down on there. Put this in the sink. All right, and then we're gonna just, I don't have a, like a bread pan or a meatloaf pan or whatever y'all might have, I don't. I'm just using my cast iron because I love it. So we'll just plop it down in there like that right there. <laughs> plop it, plop it, plop it. Just kind of make an even surface. Up on this before we fold our bacon over it. I'm about out of bacon. I mean, a uh, ketchup, y'all. You don't have to do this step if you don't want ketchup on it. It's totally up to you. Totally up to you. But I didn't. I want ketchup on mine. Come on. All right. Now I'm gonna take my little knife here and just spread out the ketchup so we make it even on all of the meatloaf. Ooh, y'all, this is smelling good. Woo! I can't wait till it starts cooking. It's really gonna be smelling good then. All right. bacon over here. Watch here. Just fold it over. Fold it over onto the meatloaf, y'all. Can't be bad. Can't be bad at all. <laughs> Check that out. So that's going to be our meatloaf. Y'all, look at that. Look at that. Oh. I've been dying over it. It looks so good. All right, let me wash my hands really quick. Ooh, I got some dirty 
dishes, y'all. I need to wash dishes. All right. Now, I'm just going to top it with a little bit more parsley flakes. Like I said, I know these will turn brown as they cook, but it's just a little something, something on top. And you can put some more um, when it comes out of the oven because you can eat this without it being cooked. It's just an herb. All right, and it's gonna let off plenty of grease on its own. So what I wanna do is put it on a pan. Um, not that one. I'm actually gonna put it on a pan in the oven because it will um, have some grease as it cooks and I don't want that over in my oven. So, there it is, y'all. That is our meatloaf. I am so excited about it. Cannot wait to eat that sucker tonight. <sighs> Let's see. What else we got? Y'all can drink this. Uh. All right. Let's put up our spices. Little spices. And our crackers. And that's about it, y'all. That's about it. Um, so that's our meatloaf. That's how I do it. I hope uh, you enjoyed that. Please make your meatloaf the way you like it. And um, make you some mashed potatoes because I believe when you have meatloaf, you got to have mashed potatoes. That's a must. Whatever else you have is up to you, but I believe <laughs> mashed potatoes is a must. So, um, we'll have some meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and something else. So, thank y'all for joining. I appreciate it. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, if you would do that now, I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you again for watching Up the Hill. See y'all later, everybody. I love you big.